getting ready to purchase a meal plan because i'm like i've been eating the same things tiktok meal plans they work well pinterest meal plans they work well but i just want something that's a little bit more catered to my size and my body and me and what i like to eat you know ai ai has been the new thing that everyone is talking about but you know what as scary as it is it does have a lot of pros to it hey guys what's up it is simona so today in this video i'm so excited for a number of reasons as it might just save you money and it might just make your life a little bit easier when it comes to trying to figure out certain goals when it comes to fitness and other goals outside of fitness and just life in general let me rewind i've been on my fitness journey for about a year june makes a full year i've lost 10 pounds i've kept it off but i do want to drop 10 more pounds i'm using daylight so the, the light is just changing so in this video i want to show you guys how to get the most out of chat gpt how to get the most out of ai and let it kind of do the work for you when it comes to your fitness so with that being said the other day i played around i typed in exactly what i want wanted it to say. How do you use chat GPT, right? Let's get into that. When you use chat GPT, you have to be super specific, okay? Did I mention that I'm using my phone as a mic? That's why I'm holding up like this. Bear with me. But chat GPT, you have to be super specific, okay? So that means like, if you want a specific meal plan, you put how much protein you wanted to have, how much carbs you wanted to have. So we're gonna do a little rundown and I'm gonna show you exactly what I am gonna put in here. Include what you also do not All right, so as mentioned before, you have to be super specific when it comes to chat GPT. That is gonna be the key here to getting the most out of it. I cannot believe that this is still free. <laughs> Let's not question it. Let's just keep it for what it is. I'll type in chat GPT. And then I typically go to the openai.com and I'm gonna actually, I already have a login. So I'm gonna try chat GPT and then log in. Okay, so once you're in, you're gonna put your, you're gonna go here. I would type in, I like to be nice to them, so I'll say, Hey, can you provide me with a meal plan? Actually, a pescatarian meal plan for three days. I haven't eaten meat in like 15 years, so make sure you're very specific. I want 1,500 calories. Sometimes I'll do up to 1,700 calories. I want 100 grams of protein, and I don't want any mushrooms or tomatoes or tuna. Once you put that in, it will surely show you every single thing. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks for day one, day two, and day three. Obviously, everything is gonna be different. As you can see, they added tuna and they also added other things that I kinda don't eat. So I'll go through and I'll skim through the meal plan and then I'll add that to my exclusion list. So now I'm adding like almonds cause I'm allergic to almonds. I don't really like uh, uh, feta. So I'm gonna take that out as well. Have them redo the meal plan. And then as you can see, it's spitting it out right now. And then I like to copy what I wrote to them the first time onto my notes, and then I'll copy the entire meal plan into my notes as well. Then I'll go ahead and ask them for a shopping list just to make it so much easier when I am shopping. I don't have to like go through and start picking things. Copy and paste that whole thing, put it into your notes, and then you'll turn this into an actual like functioning shopping list. So I'll go ahead and highlight things, turn it into a bubble, so that as I'm shopping, I can check things off my list. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the supermarket. I have a whole list, so I'm not gonna buy every single thing on the list because um, I do have a lot of things here that are already on the list, but, but for the things that are not, we're gonna go ahead and purchase that. Um, if I can't find it, I'm gonna just go ahead and substitute it on my own, but it's nice to have like a little map or a layout of what I should be buying or what to get as close as possible to those foods. Let's go ahead and go to the supermarket. I'm gonna actually go to Lidl because Publix, I love you. You're my favorite supermarket, but your prices are too high.
I'm not a fan of reheating up like my food because I do feel like it dries it out throughout the week or throughout the next couple of days. So I'll make like only three days worth of like my fish for like salads and whatever else they listed. So here you can see it's Sunday and I'm basically just doing like a mini like meal prep just to start the week off. As for a snack, I wanted to show you guys how I do this also. Um, it's just apples and peanut butter to be honest, super basic, <laughs> nothing extravagant here. But I do use this PB Fit and it is 60 calories. So on ChatGPT actually told me to use peanut butter and it came up to about 170 calories. This is 60 calories. And then it also is high in protein as well. I usually use water to create the peanut butter, but since it's already under calorie, I just went ahead and used a little bit of milk that also has a great amount of protein in it as well. You might hear my dog in the back drinking her water <laughs> if you do hear any sounds, but this was such a good snack. All right guys, so in conclusion, I absolutely love ChatGPT. I love AI as far as it helping me out with things in life. You can also definitely use um, ChatGPT for a lot of other things. You can use it in your everyday life. Like if you need help with anything or having a tough time responding back to someone. I've seen people use this for conversations. Like not like to have a conversation, but like, like you know when you don't know how to professionally say like, hey, I already did that or whatever. I've seen people use it for that. So it's a really helpful tool in many parts of our lives. It is scary because I feel like where is this gonna go in a couple of years? We don't know. But for the most part, while it's here, I feel like it's, I feel like while it's here, it doesn't hurt to enjoy it and just see what it's about. Another tip that I do when it comes to creating my meal plans is you see how I did like for day one, two, and three, a three day meal plan. Usually I would do a one day meal plan. But because I had you guys here and I wanted to show you guys exactly how, how it can really just spit out a whole meal plan for you. But I only do like, like one day at a time because I feel like it's asking for a lot of produce sometimes. My fridge freezes things. And so if I buy like different kinds of lettuce or spinaches or certain fruits at one time, it is going to probably go spoiled by like day three or day five. So I like to buy in small increments. That way I'm eating every single thing before I go on to the next day. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm a little bit out of breath because I've been doing, I've been walking on my treadmill like while doing work and I just got off of it to finish my five miles for the day. And so I was like, let me finish the outro for this video so that you guys can just like, I can go ahead and upload this. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on AI. Obviously take certain things with a grain of salt. If you're not sure how much calories, how much protein, how much this and that you should be eating, you can definitely ask it, hey, how much calories should I be eating? How much protein should I be eating? And at that point, it'll ask you certain questions like what's your weight, age, da da da, whatever. And you can input that information. I wouldn't necessarily ask it too much personal information because we don't I don't know who's on the other end of the screens when it comes to certain things i wouldn't ask it but i don't mind telling me about my weight and so forth so it can kind of give me a rough estimate of what how much calories i should be eating how much protein i should be eating and so forth if it's telling you something that's crazy that you just feel like whoa that don't sound too right don't listen to it obviously use common sense they're doing their part let's do our part by using our common sense duh but yeah so that was today's video i'm gonna be uploading much more videos i absolutely like missed youtube so please thumbs up like this video comment let's get my content back into the algorithm because i have so much fun things to share for you guys especially like all this tech stuff i've been sharing it on tiktok and everyone's like we want longer form so yeah i'm back <laughs> to stay <laughs> anywho i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching this and 